Hi, Little Eagles and families. It's Mrs. Mishler here. I wanted to give you an update on our tadpole development. They're doing great. They've made it through four phases now, and it's taken several weeks. Um, in the packet, the very first packet that I sent you, we started our journal. And on the very first page, I sent along a picture. Um, and on the first page, we were recording the first observation of our tadpoles. And as you can see, that happened on April 1st. That was over a month ago. And our tadpoles were still in their egg sacs, which are called frog spawn. And as you can see here in the picture, these are the frog spawn that I collected from the pond near my house. And this is a little picture of them too, from some really cool science magnets that I have. As you can see, there's a little bit of a difference. Um, frog spawn actually have a little curl to them. They start out as a little dot and then begin to curl as their bodies develop inside the eggs. So I made my picture here to match the picture that I had sent everyone. And my sentence now matches my picture. I see the tadpoles are in their egg clusters. This cluster is called a frog spawn. So if your journal looks like this, you've done an excellent job. Make sure this, there, you have spaces between your words. Okay, then the next phase of our tadpoles development was the hatching. The tadpoles hatched and when they hatch out of their egg, they look just like this little picture in the magnet below. You can see the little eye, a long tail and a short little chubby body. And you can see them in the picture um, swimming around. This is what they first looked like, really tiny and pretty skinny. And then they developed into a little bit more of a plump body. You can see them here. Now again, I made my picture match the photo and you can see the, the spawn is empty. There are no more eggs in, or there are no more tadpoles inside the eggs. They're all out swimming. And my sentence matches the picture. I see the tadpoles hatch and begin to swim. So they spend some time in this phase, several weeks actually, until something really special happened. They developed front legs. And as you can see, it has taken some time for that to happen. But they did started to develop their front leg, or their back legs, excuse me, on April 27th. So several weeks passed and here they are. Their little back legs. And as you can see in the pictures, they use their back legs to swim around. They don't rely only on their tail. Their, their back legs help to propel them a little bit. And as you can see, my picture matches the photo. There are little back legs there and my sentence matches the picture. I see tadpoles that have back legs. Okay, and now the final stage in the development, we're up to date on May 8th, that is today, the frogs, we noticed developed front legs as well. Can you see them in here? They're starting to really look like a frog now. They're going to be entering the froglet stage of their development. And you can see in the magnet, they have front legs, back legs, and they're starting to develop little webs in between uh, their toes. That helps them to swim and helps them to jump. And I drew a little picture over here to match the photo. And here we go. Our sentence matches the picture. I see a tadpole with two sets of legs, front and back. So take some time, little eagles, and fill in your tadpole journal with the two entries that you haven't filled in just yet. The um, back leg entry and now the front and back leg entry. So you'll have two pages to complete to get you up to date in your journal. And stay tuned because I'm going to be adding some froglet pictures and some adult frog photos as they develop a little more. So check back little eagles. 
Thank you and keep up the hard work. Bye.